Hey there, Kara from Karen Co. Creative here. We do both done for you in DIY for websites and all things online business. Today, I just wanted to chat about Squarespace. We've been doing some Squarespace videos lately here. And I wanted to step back in case you haven't started a website yet and perhaps go over why Squarespace might be the best choice if you are starting out, especially if you're planning to DIY your site. So I'll take you over my shoulder and we shall chat about it. Um, if you've been on my site at all, you know that I work in both WordPress and Squarespace. I've also used Wix. Um, and don't recommend that. Um, but both Squarespace and WordPress have their upsides. I'll take you into a client Squarespace site so you can see the back end. So one of the major pluses of Squarespace is a very nice user-friendly back end compared to your average WordPress dashboard. This just is a little bit less scary looking. Um, all your pages are listed here and it will even tell you what the main navigation is. So this is where those pages go, they end up right in your menu. And then these ones would all be unlinked. That means that they're not necessarily not linked. Like one of them might be linked um, at a button. It's just not linked in the menu. You also have your design tab. This is where you can find um, site styles. This is different if you are looking at an older Squarespace site. So perhaps if you're looking to revisit Squarespace and you already have a site, if you have Squarespace 7.0, this won't look like this. If you're starting a new site, you will be started in 7.1 and you'll see this. So this is where you choose your fonts, your colors, and you can even update your buttons and spacing of the entire site here. Um, adding your logo and stuff lives in here. This is where you would add your logo, adding on the page. And everything else is nice with Squarespace is it's basically click to edit. So if you start with one of the template and now they've made it really easy that they have templates for each section. So as you add a section, you can choose something. So you see this add section, it'll give you all of these options. So they get, make it easy for you to select any of these and then you really can just click and edit um, and make it your own with your own content. So it makes it really easy for you to build a website without having to do much. Um, so I will say Squarespace is very nice that way. It makes it easy for you to do if you don't know a lot. Um, if you're looking to create completely custom layouts, um, that might take a bit more learning, but there are lots of resources out there. And there are also, of course, lots of people like myself that you can hire to do it for you. Um, this is a really nice feature of Squarespace. This is an image. It's an image that is a collage. If I change it to overlap, completely different look. Um, this is one of my favorite things about Squarespace because it really enables you to really customize and make these images look sharp. So I'll go back to how it was for my client site. Um, so you can see nice layouts. A lot of this is um, not too much custom. So a lot of this is using the layouts that Squarespace does provide. And as you can see, again, you just click and edit. So nice interface, easy click and edit. Definite pluses. Another great thing with Squarespace is they have scheduling native. They actually bought a company called Acuity that I often have videos about. So you can set up Acuity or Squarespace scheduling right in your dashboard. Um, they also do have an email service. So you can use that without having to integrate anything. They also do integrate really easily with MailChimp, which is a one that you'll see on my YouTube channel. I often recommend for people just starting out. So all in all, like they really do make it very easy for you if you are new to websites, um, if you're looking to DIY it and you know you don't have a ton of time to learn or a lot of things you want to troubleshoot. Um, they do have all these nice layouts that you can use. And um, again, the click and edit is just, it's very nice. When I use WordPress, I always make sure that I install front end page builders. So that I get the same level of ease with editing and my clients can then make changes um, in their WordPress sites the same way that they would be able to in a Squarespace site. But it's just nice if you're doing it yourself that it's all, it all comes that way. So overall, recommendation is definitely a great place to start if you are DIYing it um, and doing your first site. So hope you will check out Squarespace and give it a try.